I shoot arrows almost every single day. I'm an archery and bow hunting junkie, and I just can't get enough of it, just like the rest of the Hoyt team. So in 2020, during the pandemic, with businesses shut down, people stuck at home, we chose a different path. We decided to work harder. So we spent every possible minute evaluating every component that goes into making a bow. It took time, serious man hours, and more design and testing iterations than we have ever put into a bow before. These bows are not just the next improvements, but a whole new system. They can't wait for you to experience archery excellence for yourself. With this project, not only do we focus on the input, which is the cam system, but we focus on dampening the response of that input. Um, and we, we started at the, the pocket ends, which are incorporating a pocket spacer that we've used on our target bows. It's just a solid connection from the limbs to the riser. We really focused on mass distribution of the riser, so we're getting rid of mass where it's not needed and adding it where it is to improve the modal response of the system. Other dampers were tuned to this frequency or the modal output, which is uh, new shock pods on the bottom. We got a lower stabilizer position, a lower side mount stabilizer position, and all of that is focused on not only the modal response, but the shooting experience uh, while maintaining a, a really good balance in hand in a non-shooting situation. There's new limb shocks on here. They're also focused at killing certain vibrations. So from top to bottom, from input to response, this system is engineered to dampen vibration and create the overall shooting experience that we were looking for while maintaining an awesome hunting experience along with it. And what we found is our grip naturally sits below the center point of the bow. And that adds a lot of weight on the top end of the bow. And your rest and your, your sight compounds that problem. So we really started looking at what does the stabilization do? And it just offsets that weight. And it offsets it as a relationship of the distance from the weight to the grip. So the further from the grip you get, the more stable you can be. So what we found is a typical stabilizer is up a little bit higher. And we found that we could utilize the natural reflex of the riser and implement a shorter stabilizer at the bottom and you still have the same effect, but less weight. You completely eliminate the carbon stabilizer. So while we were really diving into stabilization, we took a hard look at our sidebar mount. So our previous design mounted on the back of the riser. And we looked at this mounting bracket and we said, we can just mount this cone straight into the riser. So we can eliminate all of this mass weight. When we did that, we thought we can move that down. We can put it, get the same benefits we did by moving the front stabilizer down. We can move the weight farther away from the grip. We can tie it in lower in the riser. We can keep all the same amount of adjustment and achieve better balance in the bow. The most important difference in what we did was not just use the cam to meet, meet, the, meet the same goals. It's always velocity, it's always smooth draw cycle, it's always let off, it's always wall feel. For the first time we've used the cam to completely change um, the, shot, the, the total shot experience from a sound and vibration standpoint and from a draw cycle wall feel uh, and performance standpoint. So, you know, as you get, as you start working your way from the cams to the limbs, to the pockets, to the riser, the, inter, the interface between the pockets and the riser, um, all the way down to the grip, which is where the, you know, where the shooter interfaces with the whole system, I think that really shows to you, like the focus was on everything. It was from the strings to the cables to the cams. But I think in this space, we went until we couldn't go anymore. And I think we feel, well, I know we feel really good that we didn't leave anything on the table. Um, we, we are bringing to market what we, what we believe is the, is the ultimate shooting machine.